All right, we'll call the February 27th meeting to order of the Regional School Committee. No community comments, I believe. And we will go to item number three, FY19, Dover Sherburn Regional Schools budget. I assume, is that Ms. Vittori? Absolutely. Uh, so we, we're not proposing any budget adjustments tonight, but I did do a little summary for you as to where we stand with um, how the overall assessments worked out percentage-wise and the overall increase in your um, operating budget of 2.1%. I didn't know, we sort of went through it quickly um, at our first February meeting. If anyone with the time that has elapsed has any questions from the last time that we can answer for you tonight. Um, if not, then... Um, we are sort of good to go on the open hearing workshop. Right. Tomorrow. So tomorrow is not the open hearing. It's okay. a meeting with Dover Warrant and Sherman Advisory. Okay. To have a discussion with the full committees. Okay. Um, uh, about the FY19 budget, and okay. I believe everyone has received a draft copy of the information. Mm -hmm. Any comments should come back to me. The meeting is in the great room at Dover Town Hall, 715. Right. So where you were two years ago. Right. Thank you. I, I would say as a general comment, and I get, is on that presentation, sometimes we have historical columns and sometimes we don't. It's, especially if you've been on the committee, it's easier to remember some of the numbers, but if you're new to the committee or new to the audience, if there's comparisons that make sense, mm -hmm. we're not asking to do lots of wild work, but I think that would be helpful give people some some perspective. especially since our increase is so is is modest this year showing how percentage increase uh, percentage increase that it's it's or the assessment sometimes we've had a graph the of the assessments right. exactly just showing some historical perspective to know where we've come from okay we'll go back and look at that and i think we stay at a higher level because this is the presentation that goes out for true the greater Population tomorrow night, obviously, with the finance committees, if they have more detailed questions. Right. Um, you know, they all have, everyone was provided with a budget book that has a lot of historical That's true. information in it, but we'll be happy to okay. see right. where they, where this people feel like the story is not completely all right. filled in. Good. And it's the same presentation we gave last year. Yep. Thank you. Um, and then also, um, I can let the uh, committee know that both boards of select and approve the IMA. Um, on February 22nd, and the original should be circulating for your signatures. Yeah. Um, so that was um, both Dover, we presented to Sherburn, and then Dover was all set with their capital committee reporting to them. So um, simultaneously, uh, that was approved, and we're, we're good to go. So that's very exciting. Um, Michael's been asking about that. Net metering. I'm <laughs> 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 um, aware. So it was good timing. What I included in your packet this evening is our first bill that we received from Blue Wave, and they, it came with a little introduction that I thought was helpful. It actually, has a little picture at the top mm -hmm. of the actual um, garden, and um, it sort of shows you how the 100% the of the credits from the production for the pieces that we own, which is the like 49.6 or something like that. We get the full credit, but if you understand our operating agreement, we get to keep 12% and the 88% reverts back to Blue Wave, and that's their return on investment for um, procuring the, uh, the solar site. Uh, so that is sort of how that works, and, and what they do is they wait for three months until, before they bill you to make sure that um, you have the money to pay them back, I guess for, uh, for smaller homeowners. Um, mm -hmm. It could be significant, so they let it accumulate a little bit, your credits against your electricity bill, mm -hmm. before you start paying them. Going forward, we'll get this on a monthly basis, um, and so we'll pay a reduced uh, bill to Eversource, but then part of that bill will be paid to Blue Wave. Gotcha. Right? So it gets a little complicated in the accounting. Um, so um, as we had rolled out to the committee in December, and. Anne and Maggie, I gave you that packet, mm -hmm. so you'd be up to speed on that. Uh, we're anticipating uh, over the life of this contract, which was 20 years, a 350 to $400,000 um, savings. And um, we have not sort of incorporated the savings that we're anticipating for fiscal year 19 into the budget yet, 
So, I, but I think one thing we wanted to do was it's an opportunity to capture some money that I think sort of gets lost in your bigger budget. Mm -hmm. That if there was a way that we could um, sort of determine a use of that money, mm -hmm. that we I feel like you have an accomplishment for the savings that we're getting. Um, our hands are tied a little bit. Initially, I was thinking we could um, transfer this into the building fund, but we can't. Uh, so you might have to get a little creative. Um, but I was thinking of anything every year you could pull, pre-pull a capital item. Okay. So that the towns wouldn't pay for one of the items, but we could cover it with that money. So we, something we could play around with on an annual basis, I'm anticipating it being like 20, in the $20,000 range. Mm -hmm. so we have a lot of items that come yeah. up. That are about that. that. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and so that we could actually say we did something with right. that money versus just letting it go against our $24 million right. budget. So it gets lost. Right. So food for thought. Um, yep. We're only in the beginning of this. So when, timeline-wise, Don, when would you want to have those discussions? And I think we can start having them now as we people want to think about it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And um, as we get closer to year-end, like in the mm -hmm. April May time frame, we usually talk about things that we, if we have a surplus that we want to use money for, mm -hmm. um, and so we can incorporate it this year in that way, yep. and then we'll have next year to think further on that. Do you have any questions? No, but I finally understand it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you for all that background. Thank you for the agreement. Yes. It, it yeah. made more sense when I read it, and it made. And I think the bill was sense. actually a really yeah. good piece of information mm -hmm. to have. So. I was waiting for it because we've been getting the credits, and I feel like I've got this large debt that I owe, but they have yet to bill us. Does this mean essentially that the school department is running completely off fossil fuels because we're mm. getting all of our electricity, or no? No, no, no. This is just part of our bill. It's this is just it's it's like <coughs> it's actually sort of fake money, or fake okay. electricity. So they're sell they're producing all this, and they mm -hmm. have to sell it off. Okay. So we're not actually even getting. They they get credit for selling what right. they produce right. because it's green. But energy. are they producing less or more than we're using? They less. Are producing well, what we, we get is less. They produce yeah. more than what we use. Right. But that we only get a small portion. Of yes. It. No, I understand that. But essentially, because they're producing more than we use, it means we're becoming more green in in going into. We're enabling them. The well, yes. We're enabling them to sell. It is part of Dover's green community yeah. plan. Yes. So that makes it, me feel good as a. As it a should, and, and yeah. al along right. those lines, uh, in Sherburn the other night when we were talking mm -hmm. about the IMA, the question of um, new roofs came mm -hmm. up, and the question of whether or not we've talked about solar, and mm -hmm. and we should, mm -hmm. and we are looking into that. Mm -hmm. You know, just getting some feedback uh, from uh, Don has spoken with, with not we these folks. Was it these folks? No, no, we no. met with another solar company, Roth, mm -hmm. that I did back in December. Mm -hmm. So we're starting to acquire the information yep. so that when we're ready, so because you, ha you have to plan ahead, yeah. right? Yes. And so um, we met with a team that um, does this. They, they're the ones that just did some work for Sherburn mm -hmm. at their, CD, uh, their uh, highway department. So. Mm -hmm. um, they gave us the timeline, what we need to look for. It was a little too early in the process right now to really engage them, but it was good to get the basic information and know what we need to do. So it's got great, great. it's got great yeah. potential. Mm -hmm. exactly. Thank you for your work with that. All right. Any questions from our visitors? No, thank you. Uh, next on the agenda is an update um, from the middle school and the assistant headmaster. Okay? Yes, so um, so we received the news, good, bittersweet news of Brian Marringer um, being um, selected to uh, be the principal of the middle school, now I've forgotten the name. Osti? I'm sorry. Arlington. Arlington. It's in Arlington. It is in Arlington and uh, it's a great opportunity for him and but it leaves us with uh, an imp uh, important and large vacancy to fill. So um, Scott uh, put together a rough timeline. We tweaked it together. Uh, 
Beth has agreed to serve as the chair of the search committee, which I think is important. It allows the principal to participate, but it's actually really overseen by someone kind of outside the building. Uh, it's an important position for Scott, clearly. So he has to have a lot of say. The committee will um, give its recommendations and those ultimately will come to me. And obviously I would be having a lot of conversations with uh, Scott all the way through. But um, I like this layout uh, of the timeline. It puts us, uh, it, it puts us, I think, a little bit ahead of the curve mm -hmm. in terms of uh, searching. And, um, and that's important. Um, what, would, what would you add, Scott? Anything? It's, a, it's very similar to the timeline we used when we hired when Mr. Whatever his name is, I forget. He's <laughs> in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, when Mr. That guy was hired. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it worked very well. Uh, we have a committee. We've already, there are some people we've already spoken to about being on the committee. So what is the representation on the committee? It will be it's on the, on the top of the uh, sheet. Oh, sorry. Small print, sorry. Alan Shagman, Ann Keegan, Beth the chair, and then we'll have uh, one of our guidance staff, adjustment counselors for one of the guidance counselors, and then three teachers, three parents, and uh, a regional school committee. So if anyone's interested, if you let me know, in case there's more than one, and then and there we'll you could be a parent in the middle school and serve both mm -hmm. conceivably. Okay. Um, may I just make one comment? Just having done a couple of searches over the past couple years, um, I would just, given that you don't know who you'll be talking to and you may end up in a competitive situation, just that you're open to some flexibility towards the end of this process. So for example, um, potentially the opportunity for the superintendent to meet with finalists before the April vacation week, just in case someone were to be in a couple different searches and you'd want to make decisions that that person could have the April break to think about it, just might be a suggestion. Or you could keep it like this, but have that flexibility. You can just put it in tentatively. We could just put a window. Yeah, we just found that sometimes if you end up not... Things Depending on what's happening in the marketplace, you exactly. might need to Absolutely. move you can You can respond. That's a good suggestion. So we can we can adjust that for sure. I think we should. Yeah, Absolutely. Just put it right in there. I definitely like the fact you've already picked dates because that means that any parent who's We're willing to get is... Times as well. You can either make those dates for... One one tweak, and I just you know that before I came in here, is to move the 27th to the 26th because it's a challenge success event. You move the 27th, and it also gives an extra evening for people. April, the March one, the March, March 26th, uh, to do it the Monday. Right. So it gives them a little more time to go through resumes. Right. I'm sorry, so you said change the 27th to the 26th? March 27th to March 26th, yes. And uh, the April vacation is uh, the 16th, 16th yeah. to 20th, so. So these last few things would have to happen. Really in the, by the 12th or 13th, we could speed up the finalist interviews conceivably. Totally up to you. Yeah. A lot of times this in the finalist interview with the, uh, the end of or in their half day visit. It could be. It could yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to tweak that. Yeah. We will tweak that. That's a really uh, good point. Because it might be, make it easier for someone if they're in a school to come once and not twice. Mm -hmm. Yep. If you have the time to do it. Well, we'll make time. That, that's an important I mean, it's, I guess, three versus two, or three, mm -hmm. so it's not dramatic. So, we'll oh, update it. In. Perfect. Thanks, Scott. And have we changed the job description at all? Or? The job description is essentially the same. We did include in there something on RTI response to intervention. Okay. 
that was the one that we had on record. I don't know when that was developed. Yeah, Do you? It, it could have been when we hired Brian. I can look. It was a date. Yeah, I, I was looking for that. I couldn't find a date on it. Uh, but I think it's it's a fairly recent. But um, I think we can make sure that. It certainly does represent what it is yeah. currently. What is currently expected. Any other questions? No question, but I just wanted to take a minute to publicly thank Brian for his mm -hmm. service to our school district. Um, Arlington's gain is our loss, Absolutely. and um, I think it's brought a lot of really good professional energy to our community, and we're going to miss him. So thank you. It's nice. Yeah. Thank you. Professionally, I am thrilled. Him personally, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little hard. Uh -huh. yeah. it's, he's, he's very. He's a well-seasoned uh -huh. assistant. Well, he, and he, he's not afraid to clean the lens, my lenses, mm -hmm. which is very important. You don't want someone who's just going to be yes, yes. So his input has been invaluable. It's been an important, clearly been an important part of the culture of this school, and. Um, and and actually if you haven't had the chance to um, check out the article that was written it was very very nice yes. and I think they really captured what it is Brian's going to bring to that system so it's a, it's you know it's a great it's a great accomplishment for them and wish them well we have him till the end of the year I was going to say he's not gone yet no, <laughs> <I know. laughs> no he's still he's full for ahead. That's good. That's Brian, right? Yeah. I, I think it also says some positive things about you, Mr. Kellett, and about the system that you've been able to groom a person who was the top choice of a, a well, really well-respected neighbor school system. So thank you guys, yeah. old and new. Yeah. And, and to all those who will serve yes. on this committee in advance, thank you. But it's so um, well worth doing and doing it this way. I know it takes more time and probably more energy and, and more thought, but mm -hmm. in the yeah. end, we get a candidate that's the right match mm -hmm. for the district. Absolutely. And I have to say that Brian was very clear with me and with Scott that this wasn't an easy decision because he loves this place and he feels like we're really headed in the right direction, uh, but he does want to be a principal. At the end of the day, it was probably a, a fairly easy decision, but we made it tough, <laughs> yeah. so that was good. Well, listen, he, he wanted to get a situation that was right for him. He wasn't going to leave to leave. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Well, thank you for coming tonight to yeah, thanks, talk us through that. And uh, next is to adjourn the open meeting to take a roll call vote to go into executive session to discuss the deployment of security personnel and devices or strategies with respect thereto and to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining and employee benefits not to return to open session. Anne. Yes. Maggie. Yes. Dana. Yes. Michael. Lori. Yes. Claire. Yes. Right. Thank you. That's, that's, that's a wrap, Brad.